Trinity Exposed number 27. There is only one God, and He is the Father, according to the King James Bible. Let's look. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that all, we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. Again, God is spoken in the singular, not God in three persons. That appears nowhere in Scripture. But let's continue. It's a real good one coming up here. Verse 4. As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered and sacrificed unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is none other God but three. Oh, no, it doesn't say three. It says one. There's only one God. For though there be call, for though there be that are called gods, like the Trinity, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many, but look at this, verse 6, but to us, to the saved, in other words, there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Oh boy. What a verse. Look at this. To us, saved people understand this. There is but one God, only one. And who is he? The Father. Oh, Jesus Christ is God, but he's not the Father. Okay, you're rejecting Scripture. They did, Paul didn't say here, you know, well, there's three gods, and we know that God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, these three are one. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. There's one God, and it's the Father. That's it. One God, the Father, by whom are all things, and we in Him. Are you in God the Father? If you're saved, you are. If you're a Trinitarian believer and a Trinitarian fanatic, you know, a lot of people repeat the terms of the Trinity nonsense uh, through ignorance. I used to. Um, but if you truly believe in this Trinitarian thing, you cling to it, um, you're not saved. Why? No Trinitarian believes that they are in God the Father. They believe that they are in Christ Jesus, but they don't believe that they're in, Christ, in God the Father. They would call that a heresy because they don't believe that Jesus and God the Father are one and the same. You see? And one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by Him. God the Father and Jesus Christ are the same God. Not three different persons, not three different gods. If you believe that, you have been lied to.